welcome back to our stupid reaction to it's up corbin i'm rick and you can follow us on instagram and twitter for more juicy content it's so <laughs> juicy thank you for us on patreon follow on official twitter account ring the bell to be part of the notification squad Bye. you know the drill and today um we are react uh doing a movie review for um detective how would you say it rick well i would say bumkesh bokshi bumkesh bokshi uh, Yes, it would be. That's the more Bengaliized version of it. It would be Bionkesh Bakshi for yes. most other people, but I'm I'm going into the Bengali version of Bakshi. And it's starring. Uh, say his name, Rick. Uh, starring as Bakshi is Sh Sushant Singh Rajput. And we are aware, and we're aware, right when it happened. Um, yep. Of every, Woke uh, up the, to the news. The tragedy um, of, of his of his death. Um, and we talked about it on Instagram and Twitter. I even put something on the community page of YouTube. Uh, I know some of you didn't see all that, um, but we are we are very aware. And we thought the best way to honor him, because we don't know him very well. We saw him, what, in once in PK, right? Uh, as the, yes. As, as the, the supporting. Guy. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and so we didn't know him well, to like uh, kind of like we knew Irfan already. Um, but we thought the best way to do it would be to watch one of his films. Uh, yeah, and we, and, and get we, to know him we did put we did you had put up on the channel immediately a photograph of him on the community board and had yeah. said uh, that we were shocked as well. And I think and we we could have all let you know, but I, the stupid babies, you know our hearts. You knew we were going to do something to honor him in some way. Uh, we could have just let you know, hey, it's it's forthcoming, but that's specifically what this is about. And yeah, there is comparatively, we don't want to minimize the the tragedy of his demise or his beloved stature. But for us, our exposure to Irfan and even someone like a Rishi Kapoor who had 50 years of, of history in the industry and over 160 films and Irfan had... Uh, 30 years in the industry with over 100 films. Uh, and we were more exposed to Irfan, and it, it actually had a deeper personal uh, impact on us. But I don't want that to minimize in any way. We recognize the, the there's a difference with this one, especially in light of the fact that there's a lot of controversy around that one, which is yeah. we're not interested in the controversy side of things. We're more interested in honoring the man as the artist and remembering for what he contributed with his art form and talking about the issues that are really important to talk about. And Johnny and I did a, an Instagram immediately where we had celebrated our one year anniversary, but we began talking purely about mental health issues and about uh, the generic, the, the germane subject matter that's surrounding his, the tragedy of his passing. And uh, if anybody ever, um, I would encourage anybody who's going through stuff to reach out and also if you have family members, just all in friends, just always reach out. I'd said this in a, yeah. in a tweet. The the just like Robin Williams, people thought he was the funniest, funniest guy, but he they the in the most like happy person. But usually those people that aren't showing it are the ones that are probably hurting the most. Usually, um, and and sometimes there's nothing you can do at all. Um, it, yep. It, but it's the the I think the best thing to do is just always reach out. That's the that's the bare minimum we can do. Uh, yeah, and so. and to reach out in a way, reach out in a way that's more than just, hey, how you doing? Yeah, yeah. Because if you know someone well enough, and it's it's tricky because a lot of the times people can spiral really really fast, and you didn't even know they were having an issue because they hit it, and that's yeah. a shame. Yeah. So, uh, but it is. If there's one thing I hope that can come out of this, I hope this can de destigmatize because I've never understood why the issue of someone taking their own life has a stigma attached to that and this taboo of it, people not talking about it. I've, I don't understand it and we need to be able to have open dialogue and discussion about this and mental health issues the way we talk about any other health issue we've got. Yeah, normalize mental health. Yes. Um, anyways, so that's our little uh, spiel about him. Uh, our thoughts and prayers go with him and his family and his friends. Uh, but anyways, 
to the review, uh, which is why uh, this video is here, because we want to learn more. Uh, and this was him at the forefront. And uh, there were other films we could have chose, but this was the most readily available. It was on Amazon Prime. Um, and so uh, that's why we watched it. It's uh, while investigating the disappearance of a chemist, a detective uncovers a large conspiracy to unsettle Calcutta, Rick. Calcutta. Mm. <laughs> uh, directed <laughs> by, say his name, Rick. Directed by uh, Dibakar Banerjee. Uh, clearly Bengali. Uh, yep. And uh, starring, also starring Nir, Niraj Kab Kabai. Is that how Kabi, you say it? Kabai, yes. Um, yeah, Niraj Kabai. Who uh, we will talk about. Um, yes. <laughs> um, but and there's a, there's a, uh, there's a Mukherjee in there as well. Swastika yeah. Mukherjee was in that as well. She's a Bengali actress. Um, so, uh, this is a hundred percent spoiler review. That's how we like to do things. If you haven't seen it, go watch yep. it and then come back, please. Yep. Uh, so Rick, Rick, initial thoughts. My initial thoughts. I didn't write my quintessential paragraph, but I do have a paragraph's worth of information. My initial thoughts are it's an, it's a m weird mixture for me. Mm -hmm. Ultimately, I enjoyed the film. Mm -hmm. um, there's some things about it that I thought were stellar. Mm -hmm. Other things I thought weren't my cup of tea based on the little information I know about the book it came from, but that's just being nitpicky. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I, one of the things that I was really impressed by, the art department and the production design and the direction combined, and I always include, we do the cinematography and the lighting design and all of that combined, it was downright Spielbergian sometimes. It felt like Raiders of the Lost Ark, yeah. which is yeah. high level compliment. It's um, it was very stylized and uh, highly and, stylized. And, and and people do that all in in every different uh, industry. Um, it's called like hyper realistic, um, mm -hmm. like stylistic style. Stylistic that doesn't make any sense. Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> I think they did it in um, the Robert Downey Jr.'s Sherlock Holmes. It's, you just are freaking right? right on the same page with me. Uh, yeah, because they, obviously this is a Sherlock Holmes type. It's not it's not playing Sherlock Holmes. Uh, Sherlock Holmes is a lot more sassy uh, than uh, than this character is. Um, but it's the same type. He's a really good detective uh, who's not actually on the police force that solves stuff like that. Um, but the stylistic uh, of it, I really, 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 really enjoyed. And I actually really enjoyed this film. I thought it was a really good film. The only thing I think kept it from being a great film was some of the pacing in it. Uh, it's, I think it could have been sped up just a little bit in certain parts to keep yeah. up with the the high pace and the intensity of some of the scenes like especially towards the end um uh, where it got so much better uh -huh. toward the end um and so that that's but everything else the acting in this there's there's even white great actors in I, this. Was, I, I was gonna say <laughs> i wrote this down i wrote hey we got a good white guy <laughs> mark bennington as yeah. wilkie thank you sir for yeah. redeeming the, the, the non-Indian actors on screen because you did a great job. <laughs> and apparently we've seen, him, but we've seen him before as well. He was in Kasari and uh, yeah. some, some other things. But yeah, he was really, really good. But let's first talk about uh, Su, uh, Sushant. Su, say his name? Yeah, Sushant. Sushant, Su, Sushant Singh Rajput. Uh, I want to make sure uh, I get his name correct. Um, this is our... I mean, it's really my first exposure. I barely remember him in PK because that was a year and a half ago. It's it's very vague in my memory. Um, I remember us, he was good, but I don't remember much other than that. Um, this, I thought he really, really did really, really well uh, in this character. Uh, I 100% believed everything he did. Um, and I thought he has a very, not the energy, but also, but like some of the, like in Lutera and um, Gully Boy, like a Renvir quality to him. Um, and I'm not saying he's like Renvir, but it's like, that's the vibe I get sometimes when I'm watching him. And I, you know how I respect Renvir as an actor. I think he's a really good actor. Um, he was giving me those same vibes. He says a lot with his face without actually doing very much. Um, yes, and an underlying, an underlying, um bubbling 
mm -hmm. almost an underlying kind of rage. And that may be too strong of a word, but yeah. And it, it especially came out in one of my favorite points in the film, mm -hmm. which is toward the end when he's got everybody around the table and he's telling them really what's going on. And oh, Niraj yeah. Kabi's there going, oh. uh-huh, come on, tell us it's some more. That's probably my favorite scene. part of the film. Such an amazing yeah. scene. Um, when yeah. him, when hi, him sparring with Niraj. Um, yes. Oh, my favorite yeah. part of the film. Um, but yeah, we'll to get to Niraj in a, in a second. But um, they, I thought it, this entire the entire film, he held it together. I was captivated every single time he was on screen, um, mm -hmm. and he never had a false moment ever. Uh, he's a really, really, really good actor, um, and I'm, I'm glad this was our, our first exposure really to his uh, his career because um i think it's a good exposure even if the film um the only because the only problem i have like the with like i said with the film the, everything else is top notch i love the score i loved the cinematography i loved all the actors it's just the pacing sometimes just didn't keep you as engaged as you wanted it to um and that's really the only downside it wasn't really anything with um suhant uh every Every encounter he had with other characters, I thought was really, really good. He, yeah, and I don't know anything about the actual book at all uh, that mm -hmm. comes from Bengal, and I don't know if he does a Bengali accent correctly either, or if he right. do if he's doing a Bengali accent. I don't know any of that. Uh, <laughs> from my, um, I are one thing that I found is Bengali is those circular glasses. Yes, sir. Are they? Specific to Bengal, because it seems like in every Bengali movie, there's always multiple yeah, characters they, with those uh, circular glasses. Yeah, the, the circular glasses and the persona of being uh, very intelligent and read and, mm -hmm. and literature and art and, and cultured yeah. is absolutely, those glasses are like the, that. And what they didn't carry, what's another thing that's with that is the, the Satyajit Ray cigarette. Those are quintessential Bengali attributes. Yeah. Yes. Um, so, so yeah, he was phenomenal, um, and it's very sad to see such a talented actor go um, w way before his before his time. Um, but let us know before we get into the rest what we should watch of his next. I know Kaipo Che, uh, Ms. Doni. Uh, there's also one that starts with an S as well that I couldn't find, which is why we didn't watch it. Um, was it uh, two two two? Oh, Sunshiria, Sunshiria. I think we just reacted to the trailer not too long ago. But anyways, let us know down below. Now, getting to uh, Niraj. Um, this man, we've seen him in quite a few things, let me tell you. Um, he is one of the best actors India has. Uh, <laughs> like, hands down. Everything, and he's, it, it's sad because he's normally, and I don't know if maybe this is by design or if it's just he doesn't get the opportunities that a more attractive Ranveer or Shahid Kapoor get. Uh, as the leading men, but the dude is amazing. He is incredible, uh, especially towards like when I saw he was in it. I was like, I didn't know he was in it. I was like, oh, oh, cool, good. We 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 like him a lot. And then when he 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 was basically the Moriarty in this film uh, for 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 their Sherlock, right? But towards the end of the film, when him and uh, Sujit or Su Suhan, right, are are sparring off. Yeah. Oh, and he just kept laughing. <laughs> and it was, oh, God, I can't explain the smile on my face that entire time. Then that last, what, 20, 25 minutes. And then at the very end, when he was just, you know, shish kebabbing people, and including his own eye, it was incredible. I loved it. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you'd love that. <laughs> oh, I loved it. But also, the man is just so, so freaking talented as an actor. Everything we've seen him in, right? Yes. It's yeah, so, every, so good. Yeah, he's all, everything we've ever seen. And, and I didn't know he was in it, obviously, until he appeared on screen. And I, yes, I, I, the moment that scene started, yeah. the way it was directed and Sashant started to talk, I, everything changed. Like I was engaged, I like get engaged and pulled in and I'm like, oh yeah, this is meat and potatoes time. Let them spar. Yeah. Let them spar. And they just let them go. It was shot really well. Uh, and we've never seen Niraj do anything that wasn't believable. It was 
fun to see him really, as we've said this before, we said this with SRK and my name is Khan. He flexed his thespianatic muscles in this one. We got to really see some of what this man is capable of. And it, yeah. it is a, it's a, it's a shame that he isn't a, a larger name per se, because I, I sense that this man has the capacity to really surprise a lot of people with his depth as an actor. Yeah. How long? I feel like he's been around a long time. I believe uh, he has been around. But and I, he does he does a lot of work. I don't I don't know for sure. His filmography on on IMDb goes back to just 2012, which doesn't seem correct. But maybe uh, it is. maybe he just got a be. if he got maybe it was like a Steve Carell got a late start in his career. Could very well be. But and uh, and uh, yeah, back to Sushant, he. Um, it's one of those really frustrating things again. Um, and, you know, having not gotten to know him, it's different. So like when Heath left and when Philip Seymour Hoffman left, those were brutal. Um, not just because they were so tragic and so premature, but because we were so, those were some of, I mean, your favorite actor and Heath was one of mine and Philip Seymour Hoffman was one of mine. And it just, the, the the robbing that took place of what could have been the other roles that could have been and I can see what other people saw in Sushant and it is it's just tremendously sad to think that he didn't even begin to get started yeah. to show us what he was capable of because I think he was without question capable of being he he carried the film as the main character and did it believably uh, and it, it's just, it is. There's nothing else to say, but it's just a tragic, tragic loss because yeah. I see a really, really talented actor. Yeah, 35, just hit, and you're not even in your prime. I feel like actors don't hit their prime until they're in like their late 30s to 50s, basically, in terms of if, yeah. you're, well, if you're like in the industry because you get to start really doing a lot of meaty stuff, especially now with such great television going on. and Yeah. So, so sad. Uh, but also, the, uh, the, I want to talk about the score in this. I thought the score was uh, really, really good uh, and, and unique in a lot of uh, ways. There was no big songs in it. Uh, mm -hmm. it, it, wasn't a, it wasn't anything like that, which is well, another thing I thought it was an attestment to. It was very different than anything we've seen out of Bollywood. Yeah, yeah. At, at all. But I've never seen a film yeah. this stylized and this uh, that doesn't have the the big Bollywood numbers uh, like that, or like if, if, if it doesn't have that, it's like a Anyar Kashyap and it's, it's like gritty and realistic. Uh, mm -hmm. This was obviously very hyper-realistic, um, like the uh, Robert Downey Jr. Sherlock Holmes style. Um, and so, but I thought the, the, the score was really, really good um, and uh, really interesting in a lot of places um and so i want to shout out to the composer uh oh did he also do gangs i didn't she, check the credits ah, she it's a she uh sin sin sineha can walker yeah she did gangs as well oh wonderful yeah yeah uh so very really talented uh composer um, but I thought as well, everybody else in the film, I thought all the, the females, um, uh, the, the two main ones, the ones that played, uh, Ang Anguri Devi. And then the, there was one more female. I can't, they don't have pictures on this thing. Both did really, really well. Everybody. No, that was Div Div Divya Menon, who was Satyawati, who turns out to be kind of like the love interest for yes. him. Yes. Yes. Yeah. That's, that's Divya Menon. And then obviously Swastika Mukherjee. Yeah, this was one of the few films where even the supporting characters were all really, really good. Mm -hmm. uh, and so that's, that's actually something that's hard to do. Uh, there's usually, mm -hmm. in, in most films that we've watched, there's at least some supporting characters that were like, eh. Um, like I said, uh, I don't know if you thought there were uh, other issues. I th the main issue I thought was just the pacing of this. Uh, no, the, the, the... Go ahead. No, no, I was just going to say, I think it could have been maybe 145 as opposed to 210, which is what it was, uh, mm -hmm. and maybe sped it up, and it could have been like a uh, a great film, because that's, that's mm -hmm. the main thing. But what it, was there something else that you, you thought that was? Yeah, my, my only thing, which before I say that, I, I want to reiterate something I said at the outset, which is I can't speak more highly 
for Bibikar Banerjee, the director, yeah. and his cinematographer, Nikos Andritsikis, and, yeah. and the entire production team, and the way they transformed Calcutta to look like World War II. Yeah. And some of the, there were so many shots. I mean, in case you guys didn't know this, my favorite director is Steven Spielberg. And uh, there were so many shots that were so reminiscent not in a copying way, but I, I, I would love to talk to, to Mr. Banerjee and say, please tell me either you've been inspired by Spielberg your whole life or you wanted to replicate the feel of Raiders of the Lost Ark because it's the same time period. There were some things he did where I had Sanjay Leela Bansali moments of look at that shot. Yeah, so That's beautiful. Beautiful. So over good. and over again, just beautiful, beautiful. You could sit through this film and not know anything that's going on. You didn't have subtitles on, you don't speak Hindi, and you would just enjoy looking at the costuming and the cinematography and the production design and art direction and the lighting and go, dang, this is really gorgeous. Yeah. Um, my, only, my only qualm, and this is me being extraordinarily nitpicky and I don't even have the answer to the question I'm gonna pose, I don't know if this does justice to the material from which it comes, because obviously this is coming from a book, a series of books, which is the equivalent, I've been told, as you've mentioned, of the Indian Sherlock Holmes. Gotcha. And uh, I don't know, like, for example, I'm glad you brought up the Robert Downey Jr. version of Sherlock, because for my tastes, I way, and I, you may agree with me, I way prefer Benedict Cumberbatch's series oh, yeah. to Robert Downey Jr.'s films. Yeah, um, I don't think they're bad films, but as far as my personal taste and me feeling like they capture the intelligence of Sherlock Holmes and the, the vibe, even though it's contemporized with Sherlock, uh, to me there's no comparison. And I wonder for those who really understand the, the actual, um, the books created by, I'm going to butcher his name, but it's uh, Sharadindu, Bandiopadyav, who created the character in the books, um, I don't. I don't know if there would be people who know that who say no. It was too stylized. It really didn't get into the detail of the intelligence. Because I did feel for a detective who done it sleuth thing. It it wasn't really the ending. Didn't wasn't mind blowing. I was very entertained. Yeah. Um, but that's my only. That's my nitpicky purist. I want to make sure we've done honor to the source material. And I don't even know if it dishonored it in some way. That's my only critique of the film. Yeah. Well, yeah, I thought it was uh, really, really good. Let us know um, what next uh, Sushant film uh, we should watch next. Uh, I would love to get into him more uh, and, and, and learn about his career uh, even more uh, to, to honor the man. Um, but uh, we just want to reiterate one more time that we are, are very sorry for the loss uh, for him and his family, and we know there's a lot of you out there, same with that we're with yeah. Irfan and with Rishi, that are grieving right now. Um, and we hope to bring you some some giggles in this time. Uh, yeah, and, and, and I also hope that our, um, our lack of connectivity and understanding of Sushant doesn't in any way distance us in some way from what those of you who really were connected to him feel with the loss because this is different for us understandably than it was for say Irfan um, on a personal level and we're not going to pretend that we care more than we do and, and we're not we don't feel it's impersonal to be honest about the fact that we just didn't we didn't know and it's tragic uh, but really hope that we're able to be honoring to him in a way for those of you who loved him feel like we're doing justice to that and bringing something to light at the very least of uh, letting us continue a conversation. You know, we do talk about social things on the channel, but our primary in interest is in artistry. Uh, that's why you go over to our personal channels and our personal Instagrams and Twitter for more juicy content. We get a little more personal over there because that's where we feel it's more comfortable to do it. Mm -hmm. And uh, really, really hope that you guys uh, know that what we always want to bring is our most honest, heartfelt uh, responses to things and that we did our very best to try to honor a man who definitively was gone too soon and hopefully you guys continue to talk with one another and love one another and not shame each other or anyone else who deals with suicide or suicidal thoughts or 
mental health problems Depression, and yeah. reach out and love each other. Yeah, reach out and love each other and be real with your actions, not just your words. I promise you there's more people that you know that have depression and mental uh, health issues than don't. I promise yep. you. Um, and so it's not, it's not something that should be taboo. It should be as normal as breathing to talk about this stuff <laughs> um, because most, most people deal with it. Um, yep. but if, uh, if you are in need, I will put links to, um, some, uh, suicide and mental health. Uh, I think you, you posted something about them, right? On your, on your Instagrams. Yeah, I did. I, gonna, I had posted, I'm yeah. I'm going to post them in the description below for anybody who needs them, uh, to, right. to, to see them just so if, if just to know, you know, there are place people out there that yeah. do want to help and if you miss them and want some more, yes, on my Instagram, all you have to do is look for the picture of Sushant. And in that feed, you slide, there's four or five slides of different hotlines that are connected to suicide.org all over India. Mumbai, New Delhi, Calcutta, they're all over the place. Love you guys.